so this is me took the liberty to wear the same colored shirt in case you don't recognize <laughs> Uh, we didn't actually sit in front of the temple for him to paint it. So the photos were taken um, separately and then the temple was taken separately and he kind of put it together. And this is the exact uh, road he would take to send us to school, to send us to tuition. Another famous tuition centre there, <laughs> BM tuition <laughs> centre. And my brother's school is just right opposite. So uh, <laughs> every day he'll we'll drive past this road so it's called Cook's Corner it's a bit deceiving because it's not a corner actually it's a like the third shop from the corner and I always thought it was like quite a cool name because it's Fuchs Corner I thought it was F-O-L-K-S but turns out it's Fuchs Corner F-O-O-K-S named after my uncle so uh, my uncle meaning my my mom's uncle actually so they met here when my mom came because my mom was working in KL and then during the weekends she'd come and stay with my aunt and my dad would lecture at UITM and then he'd come here for a cold beer so eventually they met. I think they moved in in the maybe 70s. Uh, and it's the shop lot there, the white door, the third one from the left. Uh, now it's taken over by Love and Hastings. I don't know what kind of <laughs> law firm is that. But they, they you occupied all three. Um, from what I know, my dad lived on the first floor and then his brother on the second. And um, uh, we used to come here for lunch. Um, when my grandfather was still alive and then after he passed away we stopped coming here mm. being like a really creepy person right going to other people's property and like this is where we lived <laughs> not me my dad so we would visit uh, the first floor and we would have dinner every sunday uh, every sunday i guess that was tradition for his dad. His dad was a traditional man, he's from China. And so, yeah, everyone lived together. My uncle lived here uh, with Sui, he will meet Sui later, so they, their family lived down here. And I heard that, I mean, looking at the old photos, um, they told me that my dad's studio used to be downstairs as well, so he would paint here. serves me right this is the row of shop lots that this painting is inspired by so uh, this is my brother's friends <laughs> Noel, Aaron, Peter and Gadish Subramaniam so I remember my mom saying that um, the reason why he painted this was because um, so we were all getting our like my brothers and his friends were all getting their license and uh, because the only type of cars their parents had were like nice cars like the Volvo and my mom at that time was driving a Merc so so my brother would then once he gets his license he's driving a Merc <laughs> and like his friends they are like driving this nice Volvo so he thought my dad thought it was it was kind of crazy <laughs> that um, yeah all these young punks are driving like big fancy cars was here before it was a fountain so when i was growing up um, every time we passed here our parents would be like oh look at the fountain look at the fountain uh, so i guess uh, eventually they started building this uh, the highway uh, which is featured in my dad's paintings so so this is where the fountain used to be and where we are standing right now um, this is my brother and his friends of course, they weren't actually on the street. <laughs> we saw uh, Photoshop on canvas uh, here as well. So this was me, my brother and his friends. 
the time when rollerblading was cool. <laughs> it was a short-lived time. <laughs> uh, growing up here was quite boring for me. Uh, and also like, um, I really wanted adventure and we were left on our own quite often, uh, especially after schools. And so I would read um, and it lighten and get lost in those adventures. So I think uh, growing up here, I really wanted uh, an exciting life. It's not terribly exciting like in this sort of small towns. Uh, so I don't know how how my dad found inspiration in that and painting all these scenes, which is not very exciting for me. He passed away when I was 15, so we didn't really get a chance. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, get a chance to talk about art or his work. Um, but I guess it, it kind of reflects the the change in playing and how um, the younger generation have to interact with the environment. So like rollerblading on the street, which we did literally, but not here. Here's, here's insane, uh, we don't. <laughs> but yeah, I guess just how you know the reality of growing up in Klang is not so pretty. <laughs> That's okay, we survived. We turned out alright. <laughs> right? Full scorn. <laughs> it didn't work, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently it didn't work. <laughs> he will actually talk to me. You know, really talk to me rather than uh, uncle talking to uh, nephew. Like, what uh, did the other uncles think of my dad being an artist? While well, they are all like businessmen or has a proper job. Grandfather was so traditional. Yeah. Was okay with that. Yeah, why did he let him study art then? All the, all, all, all the other uncles went engineering. Yeah, yeah. He's the only one who went art and then grandfather said, okay. They kept the article, I don't know if my dad, I remember oh, yes. in the photo album, they kept his oh, article, yes. right, of Correct. the exhibition. Okay. Probably grandfather cut, cut wow. it out. And, wow. And that's something he was very proud of. I think my only nostalgia is going back to your club. Because my dad liked it, right? So. Is Clan Club still there? I think uh, Clang is one phase of my life. I still visit it. Doesn't mean I'll come back and stay. So, there you have it. No one wants to move back to Clang. This is it. The truth is out. <laughs> Look at it through my dad's paintings. <laughs> Remember as it was. <laughs>